Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. This is Roshan Thomas and we are on the part 3 tutorial of a registration and login module with the JSP and servlet. But in today's tutorial, we are not going to use any servlet and the previous tutorials we used JSP and servlet to do a registration. So in the previous tutorials, what we did was uh, we created a database portal with the registration table and we did the registration using JDBC. Um, servlet we did two entries here after that we try paste the data and we logged in so we are going to do the same thing but we are only going to use JSP today so I'll be using the same code from the previous tutorials so I have my login.java registration.java login.jsp all open but we'll create a new project so I'll go to file new and create a dynamic web project and I'll name the project as a login JSP. Okay, rest of everything same and I'll click finish. We don't need the web.xml. So I'll directly go ahead and uh, go to my web content folder. Inside that web dash inf in the library folder, I'm gonna paste my MySQL connector, which is very important. Otherwise, it won't work. So after that, go to connector, right click on that and go to build path, add to build path. So we are good to go. After that, click on the web content folder, right click and we'll create three JSP files. First one, I'll name it as fetch finish. After that, I'll just copy this and paste again. And I'll name that as login. Okay. I'll paste again. And I'll name that as home. Home.jsp. Click OK. So we have our three JSP files uh, ready. We only need these three files. Let me fetch the HTML form, which we are going to use uh, the same from the login.jsp. We are going to reuse the code. That's most easiest part. I mean, if you want to watch the tutorial one and tutorial two, uh, I mean, part one and part two, I'll put the links down in the description or I'll put a card in the top right. Check that out because I'm not explaining much in this tutorial, but I did explain very clearly in the first and second tutorial. And uh, what I'll do is control V. I'll paste everything here and save this. And we are going to change some things here. So as it's a registration page, I'll change the action to after clicking on the submit button, we want our page to go to login.jsp. So I'll say login.jsp and uh, as it's a registration page, I'll put the value for registration but registration form as registration, not registration, okay. Trust everything is same and I'll change also the title to reg registration. Okay, I'll save that. I'll go to my login.jsp. Control A, Control V. Here everything is all right. I'll change the action to when we click the submit button in login page. We need to go to home.jsp. So I'll name it as home.jsp. Just everything is same. What I'll do is in the registration page, I'll also put in uh, h2 tag to tag with the uh, saying it's registration page I'll do the same in login.jsp page I'll create a h2 tag login page all right I'll go back to my registration page it's the common stuff nothing so to process the registration we need to put the code in login.jsp so when the submit button is clicked you want your page to go to login.jsp and the registration code should be there so that it will process and register the data. After the submit button is clicked, you, your form data is took and uh, passed it to other page. So that is the place where your data is being fetched and registered. So what I'll do, we are going to use uh, scriptlets and uh, expression. So just below the body tag, I'll create an expression percentage tab it first yeah 
then i'll go to my registration.java servlet which is our previous tutorial so i'll copy the whole code we did there and uh, what i'll do is just i'll paste it in the rights.jsp not not in login.jsp page where we created the expression tag i'll paste it there so as you can see we do have errors here so first thing we need to do is we need to import a package and that will be how to import a package you go create a scriptlet tag you put ampersand not ampersand at the rate then say page import equals in double quotes mention the package name java dot sql dot star so we are importing the java.sql package and all, uh, all and every class inside that so star as you can see most of the errors are gone and we do have only one error here and that is print, uh, print writer so the best part is we have that out.println out uh, function built in here so we don't need the print writer here and as you can see the errors gone and you're good to go so what i'll do i'll just run my registration.jsp page and see if it works run as run on server so rich.jsp is loading and we have the registration page h2 tag here first input tag second input tag and register button so in first one we are usernames personal and password let me put in qw12 qw and i'll click the register button here and what do we have you are successfully registered here and we have the login page here so let's check the registered we have the data let's click the browse here yeah now we have the new data here personal username and uh, password is qw12qw so we successfully registered and now what we need to do is fix the log login process so in login you are already in login.jsp you have the code and stuff now what you will do is we will go to our home page where our next um, code will be written and will process the application will process it so we will go to home.jsp page I will change the title to home and under the body tag I will just create a expression tag again and we will go to our login.java servlet from a previous tutorial and I will copy the code here copy it then I'll go to my home.jsp and paste it here the same errors here I'll import the package here quickly at the rate page import equals and double quotes java dot sql dot star so package is imported I'll remove the print writer here I'll say in h2 tag here hello hello comma i'll put a scriptlet here to do like this request dot get parameter and you could name the as user and that will get the name that will fetch the name so it's a hello user yes you can say welcome to the home page so one more thing we need to do is uh, I'll remove this request dispatcher we don't need this because it's not a servlet and we don't want our data to be processed every time so what I'll remove that and we'll only use the redirect response.redirect that should work perfectly fine so let's go ahead and check our login so I'll refresh this page so what I'll do I'll just go to my login page I'll refresh it confirm resubmission personal and password is let me do I forgot the password password is qw12qw 
so qw12 qw let's check click login and you have successfully logged in hello personal that's our username welcome to the home page so it's that simple so we logged in successfully let's do with the wrong password so what did we get here we were redirected back to login page so that's it guys that was very simple and uh, i hope you enjoyed the tutorial if you have any queries or questions please put them in the comment section if you like the video please hit the like button if you dislike the video please hit the dislike button subscribe for more videos and i'll see you guys next time bye bye